Lynn Black, 20 years old, presents to the emergency department with a 16-hour history of abdominal pain. In the next 10 minutes, obtain a focused and relevant history and conduct a focused and relevant physical examination. As you proceed, explain to the examiner what you are doing and describe any findings. Hi, Lynn. Hi. I'm Dr. Hodson. I understand you're having some pain. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about this pain? When did it start? Uh, yeah, well, it's like my stomach, it really hurts, and it's getting worse. Okay. Uh-huh. And when did it start bothering you? Uh, last night. Okay. I guess 16 hours ago. About 16 hours ago. And was it there? You're saying your stomach. Where do you mean uh, by that? When it started? Where is uh, You said you're having pain in your stomach. Yeah, right now it's like down here. Down. Okay, not not up here. No. Okay, all right. When it first started, was it, did it start all of a sudden or was it gradual in onset? No, it was gradual. It's gradual. Okay, and um, tell me about this pain. Uh, well, it was kind of like in the middle like of my stomach. Okay. And it was kind of like crampy okay. and dull. That's how it was before. Okay, and now it's gone to... Uh, now it's down here and down it's Down to really the right sharp. side. It's sharp. Is it there all the time or mm-hmm. it comes and goes? No, okay. no, it's there. How bad would you say the pain is on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, right now, like a, I, I guess a 6. That's about a 6. Okay. Mm-hmm. And is it moving anywhere through your back, down your legs? No. No? Okay. And uh, um, have you been feeling nauseated with this? Mm-hmm, yeah. a bit. And did you throw up? Uh, yes, okay. this morning. This morning, okay. And what uh, what did you throw up this morning? Well, I had a bit to eat, and then I just I just threw it up. Okay, really. so it was just food, and it was mm-hmm. not there was no blood in your vomit. There was mm-hmm. no what we call coffee ground that looks brownish uh, stuff. No. Uh, no. Um, mm-hmm. Was it bilious where it was just yellow yellow stuff that came out? No. no. Any fever and chills? Uh, well, I'm feeling kind of like I'm feeling warm, flushed, feverish. And do you have chills that you're shivering? Well, not so much, just a bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you have sweats last night? Mm-hmm. No. No. Okay. Bowel movements? Have they been okay? Uh, I guess. Okay. No bi- uh, diarrhea, mm-hmm. constipation, mm-hmm. blood in your stools or black stools. Okay. No. And urinary symptoms. Mm-hmm. Burning to urinate, having to go urinate more often. No. Blood in your urine. Okay. Mm-hmm. When was your last menstrual period? Uh, about a week ago. A week ago. So you're not pregnant. No. No. Uh, are you on the pill? No. No. And are you sexually active? Yes. Okay. Do you use condoms? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the time. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And tell me about your health. Do you have any medical problems? No. Okay. Do you take any medications? No. At all? No. Uh-huh. Over-counter medications, uh-huh. Advil, Tylenol, really or natural yeah. products, no, no. no. Um, do you have no. allergies to medications? No, okay. Not that I know. No. And have you had any surgery done in the past? No. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Do you do any uh, street drugs? No. no. Okay. All right. Perfect. Good. So mm-hmm. I'm going to proceed on to the examination. So the focus examination mm-hmm. being an abdominal pain, we're going to just look at your abdomen, we're going to undrape the patient. Mm-hmm. If you want to bring your leg straight down, uh, okay, so one thing I would like to know is the vitals, um, so, very good, so what I'm going to do is first of all inspect the abdomen, so here mm-hmm. we're looking to see if there's any scars of previous surgery, we're looking for distension of the abdomen. Uh, we're looking for any rash, any ecchymosis, mm-hmm. so everything looks normal on abdominal inspection. Then we're going to proceed on to auscultation. So I'm going to auscultate the left mid abdomen mm-hmm. and then the right mid abdomen, mm-hmm. and bowel sounds are normal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'm mm-hmm. going to proceed on to percussion. So I'm going to percuss all four quadrant mm-hmm. to check for dullness, okay, and there's no dullness to any uh, any of the four quadrants. Then I'm going okay. to percuss to check for the liver edge, okay. So starting at the mid-abdominal line and moving upwards, approximately, 
Mm -hmm. And we reach dullness here. And then from the chest, mid chest area, mm -hmm. moving down. This gives us a liver edge of six centimeters, which is normal. Then I'm going to percuss to check for uh, spleen mm. enlargement. So there's no dullness on percussion. Then at the last intercostal space, there's no dullness. Take a deep breath. Uh, Take a deep breath and hold. Very good. Uh, and there's no really dullness. Hard. It's can't really hold it in. Okay. But uh, there's no dullness, so I'm not suspecting any spleen enlargement. Um, then I'm going to proceed on to light palpation. So um, you let me know if there's any tenderness. So that's it. She's actually guarding a little bit at the over there. left lower quadrant. And there's some pain yeah, there, but, but, it's, but it's not as bad as yeah. here. So light palpation demonstrate that there is guarding in the right lower quadrant. I'm going to go deeper, okay? So, okay. And on deep palpation, it really oh, no, it really hurts. There is a lot of guarding on deep palpation. Now I would like to check for the the, the liver edge. Okay, so I'm going to go a little deeper, and I'll get you to take a deep breath. Oh, I can't take okay. a deep breath. And that's that's hurting you too much. So unfortunately, we can't check the liver edge, but mm. liver span is normal. Same thing for the spleen. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> and there's too much pain, but again, we don't have any uh, enlargement on, on percussion. So now I'm going to check for rebound tenderness. So okay. I'm going to press down, and I'm going to let go. Okay, okay. sorry, it may, ha may hurt a little bit, Lynn. So there's guarding, and, <laughs> and there is rebound. Where did you feel the pain, Lynn, when I did that? Here. At the right side. So we have a positive Rothsing sign. And then I'm going to, again, sorry about this, Lynn, press and let go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And we do have a positive uh, uh, rebound uh, test. So we're going to proceed now to other signs of peritoneal um, irritation. I'll just get you to bring your leg up and mm -hmm. hold it up. Don't let me push down. Oh, I can't that, do it. That hurts. Yeah. Okay, so we have a positive psoas sign. And now I'm going to bend, right. do the obturator sign, flex, and internal oh. rotate and that, that's hurting you. Okay, so we have a positive obturator sign. Then I would proceed on to doing a rectal examination. There's mild tenderness on the right side. Mm -hmm. And I would also do a pelvic examination. The pelvic is normal, okay. I would also check the inguinal areas. It's also, yeah, it's also normal, okay. Mm -hmm. um, let me just check for your kidneys for tenderness of the costal oh vertebral angle. I'm just going to give you little punches like that. Does that hurt you in the back when I'm doing that? In your stomach. Okay, so we don't have any tenderness of the CVA angles, so no signs of pyelonephritis. Okay, very good, Lynn. So what we're going to do is I'll go and order some tests, and I'll come back and, and mm -hmm. talk to you about the results and how we're going to proceed with this pain. Okay. okay very good.